Hey folks, welcome to another video where I'm going to show you how you can upload your project to Subquery Project, which is a hosted infrastructure service allowing you to create and deploy your own projects hosted by Subquery. So the first thing to do is if you've got your own project, you want to make sure this is in GitHub. If you don't, a very quick way of doing this is going to the subquery github repo and cloning an example so the example we'll clone here is subquery hello world let's go ahead and click on fork in the top right hand corner this will make a copy of this repo into my own personal one and it's the url up above that i'm going to copy because i'll need this when i'm configuring subquery projects so back to subquery, let's go and log in first of all. Because I'm already logged into GitHub and I've previously logged into subquery, it remembers me, so I log in straight away. Scrolling down, let's click on create project. I'm going to enter my project name, so let's go subquery hello world. And let's paste in the GitHub repo that I copied previously. All the other fields I'll leave empty for now just for this demonstration, but if you were doing this for real, you would put in a proper subtitle and some meaningful description as well. But I'll go ahead and click Create Project, and there we have it. Now, you can see on the right-hand side here, we've got two options. We can deploy to a production slot or to a staging slot. So this is just like deploying this to a production environment or a staging environment. So let's go and click on deploy under staging. Now you can see that I could select a previous commit version if I wanted to. I can override the endpoints, the network endpoint, the dictionary, etc. But here, let's just go deploy. And you can see that it's in the status of processing. It will take a few minutes for the code to deploy and start indexing. So hang tight for a few minutes and catch you back soon. Okay, now you can see that the status has changed from processing to running. It's the green status here. We can click on the three ellipsis and there are a few options we can execute. We can remove this particular deployment. We can view this on Subquery Explorer. We can deploy a new version or even promote this to production. So let's click on a view Subquery Explorer. And this takes me to my dashboard where you can see it's already started synchronizing. The block height here is 530, 713, etc. And then scrolling down, you can see in my playground, I can also hit the play button and start querying subquery. So the block height here is 649. If I hit run again, it's going to remain the same. So what's quite useful is, first of all, if I expand this out, Let's go ahead and order this by order by block height descending. Let's hit run again. And you can see here 2160. And if I hit run again, it's gone to 2398. I can click on the log and we'll see what's happening in the background here. You can see it's fetching the blocks and it's estimating around two days to fully synchronize. This is also backed up by the fact that you can see we're only at 0.05% complete. So let's go back to the main dashboard page here. You can see the staging slot is running. Now, this is really useful for testing and debugging. And once you're happy with your code, 
you can then go ahead and select promote to production so what we do is we just select promote and then very quickly and seamlessly the code moves over to a production slot and again I can view this on uh, subquery explorer or even deploy a new version as well note that you cannot delete this yet you can delete the staging slot as we saw but not the production slot if you wanted to remove this you'd have to click on the three ellipses at the top right hand corner and delete the project itself so there you go very quickly how you can deploy your code into the staging environment and also promote this to production if you want to as well catch you on the next video